Hey VC, what's up? It's Chad. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Um, went to hit two record stores yesterday, picked up a few things, one of which is a Grail. So I just wanted to shoot a quick video and kind of show you what I picked up yesterday. Like I said, it wasn't a whole lot of stuff, but it was pretty good stuff that I picked up. So uh, anyway, we'll start with the uh, went to Half Price Books. Uh, just one of them yesterday. There was actually several in the area, but I just had time to go to one, so I picked up a few pieces of vinyl and a few CDs. So the first thing I picked up was a copy of David Lee Roth's Eat Them and Smile, which I did not have, and I've been looking for a copy, so that was kind of nice. That's the nice Just the sleeve there. And then the next band that I picked up, I had saw a video, I guess on YouTube, I don't know how I got linked to it or whatever, saw it and I was like, this is really interesting music, kind of crazy sounding. I thought, you know, if I ever find that on vinyl, I'll have to pick it up. Well, at Half Price yesterday for $3.99, they had a copy, which is Focus, Live at the Rainbow. And that is actually what we're listening to right now. Um, it is some strange stuff not normally something I've listened to but for some reason it's kind of catchy and kind of like it so and the last piece of vinyl I got from Half Price yesterday was a copy of Triumph uh, Rock and Roll Machine and for some reason I don't have any Triumph in my collection so I thought here's looks like a uh, maybe a live album I'm not sure I think it is maybe and so uh, but we'll start with this, so I hadn't even heard it yet, so uh, we'll check it out today and see what I think. So, Also, while I was there, I picked up just a few CDs. Let's see, I picked up uh, Eric Clapton, Unplugged. I uh, picked up Nativity in Black, uh, Volume 2, a tribute to Black Sabbath. Uh, this one was a really cool one, the Psychedelic Furs, All of This and Nothing. Picked up, this one I was real excited to find on CD, the Smashing Pumpkins, Gish. And to be honest, for some reason this is one of my favorite Smashing Pumpkins um, uh, albums. I, uh, uh, I've listened to most of their stuff and this is one that just kind of for some reason, I don't know if it's because the first thing I heard of theirs or what, but I just really like this album. Of course, I like some of the other stuff, but this one just really, something about it is really dig. So, and the last one was the Black Crows uncensored uh, cover, the nice little pew pair and everything hanging out there. And that is uh, my half price pickups. And then at my normal record store docks, I had called ahead and they had when they. When they get new stuff in, they post it on Facebook, and usually I can call them or send them an email, and they will hold stuff for me. And so they posted this stuff and uh, had them hold it for me, so I went and picked it up. So the only thing I got at the actual record stores is these two two pieces of vinyl here. Which the first one is a copy of Mazzy Star, and this was actually a reissue on 180 gram vinyl. And you know, one thing I really do like about vinyl, unlike CDs and cassettes or whatever, it has the nice inserts where you can actually see the picture. So here's the insert for the Mazzy Star. And then for the Grail pickup I picked up yesterday, uh, it's a reissue 180 gram vinyl. It's a two, a two records collection, which is the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I have been looking for a copy of this forever, and uh, even though it is a reissue, I'm still very excited to get it. Um, I actually spun it this morning before breakfast, and uh, it sounds amazing. It has a nice little uh, little book. And then you open it up, it has the nice, all the lyrics. Sorry about that glare this morning, I don't know what the deal is here. All right. Here's one of the, the vinyl. 
on the Warner Brothers label. And uh, that's all I picked up yesterday, so I just wanted to shoot a quick video so I can kind of stay updated on my videos and uh, show you that. Um, again, I'll be going on February 2nd to hit some places. Um, definitely gonna check out the uh, the cattle barn that Doc, I mean that Punk Texas was, uh, he showed in his video, which is not too far from the record stores I go to, and I just never been there, so I'm real excited to check that out. I'll be hitting a couple other places, so I hope to have a uh, pretty big update video come 1st of February, so. Anyway, till then, hope everybody has a good rest of the weekend, and uh, guess we'll see you next time.